When Rabindranath Tagore was in Shilai Daho, he understood that only education and agriculture won't develop the rural economy in this country. He realized the need for cottage industries. People of villages must learn to be self-dependent and confident. Hence, their creations can be used for their own growth. They must learn to solve their problems with a sense of creativity. Thus, he entrusted his son Rathindanath and daughter-in-law Pratima Devi to the development of rural crafts. The crafts of villages were good but unorganized. In the beginning of 20th century, the village goods were inseparable part of daily lives. Later, the industrialization in Europe diminished the need of handmade products by increasing the demand of machine-made goods. So, the handmade crafts industry barely survived. The Shodeshi movement again for some time revived the cottage industry, making Shantiniketan one of its major centers. Thus, the rural cottage industry started in Vishwabharati in the year 1922. Andre Karpel and Pratima Devi started book binding and clay works in a shed near Kola Bhavan. The place was later called Bichitra Studio. The environment of Shantiniketan was not appropriate for craft works. So, a building of railways in Sriniketan was turned into Hall of Industries in 1928. It was in the same place all the crafts were organized and brought together in the name of Rural Industries Center. Then the name was changed to Shilpo Bhavon. Presently this place is called Shilpo Shodon. Advanced machines were brought from abroad and they ran with the help of dynamo. Wooden work started under the guidance of Kashahara. His student was Lokhishar Shingho, who went to Scandinavia to learn advanced woodworks. This gave a new direction to the works of Sriniketan. Saudagar Mistri was another important person in the field. Works of handloom were also very common. Many workers from around the villages used to come here to learn handloom techniques which helped them in subsistence. Moni Chandra Shen, a prominent handloom artist, went to Japan in 1935 and gained the knowledge of Japanese weaving.
pottery works in Sriniketan mainly started in 1936. This area was developed by eminent artists like Nandalal Bose, Rathindranath Tagore and Pratima Devi. In 1946, two German experts taught some advanced techniques on glass. This opened scope for new earnings among the locals. In 1926, Rathindranath Tagore and Pratima Devi both were inspired by the leather works of Milan. 2 years later, in 1928, Machines were brought in for the same purpose. Few people from Tamil Nadu came here to learn leather works and later founded their own company named East Indian Tan Leather. Rathindranath Tagore with his research in leather works started a new form of art This later spread worldwide and became famous as Shantiniketan leather In 1927 when Rabindranath Tagore was visiting South East Asian countries he was accompanied by Shuren Kaur The art of batik caught his attention keeping in mind the rural tradition he developed shantiniketan style of batik shilpo sadan became the hub of many other crafts like printing bamboo jewelry works handloom decoration designs and others Rathindranath Tagore was in charge of Sriniketan from 1928 to 1951. In 1938, Shilpo Sadan became an established department in Vishwabharati. Emporiums were set up in Shantiniketan, Shilpo Sadan and Kolkata. It was for the first time in entire country the dynamo was set up for cottage industry machines about 500 workers used to work here during the second world war the workers were mainly from the villages around who learned and worked at the same time In 1951 when Vishwavarati became a central university the work culture of Shilpo Sadan received a major blow because it did not fit into regular university framework In 2010 when professor Rajat Kanto Rai was the vice chancellor a new course started called Bachelor of Design The head of the department at the time Dr Vishal Sri Vand undertook major projects Product designs and prototypes were made in the department The mass scale productions were done by the villagers around This gave a scope for research 
and also livelihood to the rural people. Today, the products of Shilpo Shodon are famous worldwide. They have a unique blend of tradition with modernism. The style and techniques of Shilpo Shodon products have engaged many craft workers from across the district. They manufacture in their houses and make a proper living. Thus, Shilpo Shodan today has not only become an institution of art but also an essential department of rural development.